President Biden's disapproval rating hit the highest mark of his presidency in a new poll. What a surprise. Uh, Also showed the support by essential voting blocks is slipping. Biden's disapproval Mm -hmm. rating ticked up to 56 percent. And I am shocked that it is that low. Mm -hmm. Think about it. I mean, Mm -hmm. honestly. With the way things are. Tell me what he has accomplished. Honestly, and and I mean this sincerely. Can you think of anything that his... You know, his voting base would say, well, he did this. Yeah, they'll tell you he's created 13 million jobs. No. Which is BS. No, but I mean, of course. No, but I, I, that's what, what I'm, they'll tell you. But what I'm saying is, somebody that is actually, is there any way to actually have a no. real. Absolutely. There's not. nothing. There's no. nothing. Not unless you're a total moron, a real buffoon. You, you have to be. <laughs> You have to have all the really? intelligence of a bathroom bolt brush to really? believe this guy's doing a good job. Huh. Yeah. I would think that there would be yeah. something. No. There's no, nothing. No, nothing, there's nothing at all. Wow. Well, yeah. that's why he trails even in the Washington Post ABC News poll. Did you see the results in that? 52, yeah, but it, 42%. 52 to 42 Trump leads. Yeah. You think that's reliable? It's Washington Post ABC News. It's certainly not slanted toward... <laughs> No. Trump. Yeah, certainly not. I mean, they, Trump. they have been wrong in the past, yes. but all polls have been. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe this is what, let's see it. Let's see it again. Yeah. Let's yes. see it happen again. I mean, it probably is an outlier because he's probably not up by 10, but I think that Biden's in trouble and that's why you're hearing the scuttlebutt in the Democrat party. Right. You also have him slipping mm-hmm. with voters 18 to 24. Yeah. He only has a 46% uh, percent approval rating. Latin- Latinos, 43%. Independents who are going to decide the general election at 36 percent. Yeah, it's not good. Trump's lead in the GOP primary has surged ahead. Uh, he is now leading by 43 points. It's that amazing. is it's incredible. 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 He's the first choice among national Republican primary voters at 59 percent. Um, <laughs> so now this is what you're starting to see from people who love Joe Biden because, you know, he was just out of the Congressional Black Caucus, which he thought he was at last week. Yeah, but it was the the uh, <laughs> Congressional uh, Latino Congress, right? Yes. Hispanic Congress. Yes, but he called them the, bl- the, the Black, Black Congress. Congress. So I don't know if he thought he was at the Hispanic Conference this <laughs> time, but um, he, uh, he was talking about LL Cool J, who... He's brilliant in it, too. He's brilliant with it. I think he's going to get a lot of support after so? showing how hip he have is. Have you heard it? Yeah. Oh, I haven't heard it. Oh, you haven't heard oh, it? Oh, no, I've just oh, read it. Oh, it's really good. No, you it's good. It? Yes, we yeah. do have it. Uh, it is... Uh, two of the great artists of our time representing the groundbreaking legacy of hip-hop in America, <laughs> LLJ Cool J. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> by the way, that boy's got... Uh-oh. That man's got biceps bigger than my thighs. I think he's been... Wait. What? And MC Light, both of you. Thank you. Okay, so L L J Cool, right? J J. Uh, uh, he knows him. He loves him. Oh, he lo- he he's loves. He's got all him. his earlier and works. Can I ask? Mm-hmm. When he sees somebody, a man in particular, yes, this does is the thing now. Always, always, every time he has to mention their biceps, yeah, or feel them. Yeah. Or say that I wish I had you as my lime blocking for me when I was in, because you're really hot. (laughs) (laughs) Really hot. Yeah. Wow. I haven't heard the really hot part. Well, I'll I'll find it and play it for you because it's it's incredible. And then again with the boy. Yeah. And he does that all the time. But he caught himself this time. Did you notice that? That boy, um, man, man, I'm not a racist. Wait a minute, I just showed my racist <laughs> tendencies there. Man, I meant. Wow. Amazing. Wow. It's amazing. And then to screw up his name when it's in front of him in the teleprompter, I don't understand that. You know they went over this with him. You know they did because his aides prepare him for this stuff. He has AIDS? <laughs> Not that kind of what? AIDS. Oh, okay. yeah. The Oof. people who help him, maybe that's like, a better way to gonna, put it. He's no, sicker he than I thought. Yeah, I know. He does yeah, not have no, okay. So Thank far you. as I know, he does right. not. But to to then screw up the name, what what is the deal? <laughs> How big do they have to make the font for this guy? I mean, 
I mean, as a guy who screws up names all the time, yeah, I'm not going to. But please. But LL Cool J is not, not hard. hard. It's, it's not hard. It's not yeah, that hard. Yeah, okay. Well, he's hip. Anyway, um, there is a um, there's an opinion now from Newsweek. Mr. President, you're going to lose to Trump. We're begging you to step down. Wow. This is Newsweek. Listen to this. Wow. The old rule about incumbents was that if they're under 50 points in approval, they're toast. President Joe Biden is under 40. There's almost no chance he's going to win. I've never heard of an incumbent pulling over uh, under 40 points who went to win the reelection. When it comes to Joe Biden, three and six recent polls had him in the 30s. In one recent poll, President Biden was an abysmal 32%. Sorry, but that's unrecoverable. You're just telling yourself sweet little lies if you think he can win with those numbers. I know what everyone in Washington is going to say next, but that's not fair. He passed so many bills. No (laughs) one's passed this much legislation since Grover Cleveland or something. He passed the semiconductor bill. (laughs) I got bad news for you if you're a Democrat. No one cares about the semiconductor bill or any of the other bills that helped his donors so much, and coincidentally, a couple of other Americans as well. Even if you love those bills, no American even knows about them. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, if you're a Republican, Biden is a godsend, especially if you're MAGA. There is no way Trump can beat anyone else. Another poll found that 59% of Americans think Trump should end his campaign immediately and quit life. And quit life or quit for life? What do you mean quit life? Okay, they didn't say the last part. No, that's what he meant. But they might have well uh, have said it. Uh, I've never seen a number that bad. In that same poll, Trump came in at an abysmal 33% approval. And how did Biden do in that poll? Worse. At 32. Mm. MAGA should be doing everything they can to keep Biden in the race. He's their only hope. President Biden needs to step down immediately. This is Newsweek. Mm needs to step down immediately and give someone else a chance to do what uh, what they will Um, And certainly they'll be able to accomplish a trounce of Trump in 2024. I'm a progressive. So even if I get my wish and President Biden were to step down, I'm not overly fond of any of the corporate Democrats we have to choose from. But if you're being honest, Mm -hmm. they would at least all beat Trump with a stick. Not because they're so great, but because Trump is infinitely worse and the American people know it. Trump is also polling at 33%, and 6 out of 10 Americans despise him. Yet, Biden is still losing to him. If you spend any time listening to people in the power of politics or media, you'll have heard some version of the talking point that Joe Biden is the only one that can beat Trump. It's nonsense. Based on what the data is and what they're... uh, I don't understand how they're making this claim... The truth is the exact opposite. Biden is the only person who can't beat Trump. My left foot could beat Trump. An open dumpster fire can beat Trump. This is when the D.C. establishment will huff. He beat him last time. Yes, Joe Biden won the Electoral College by 44,000 votes in three swing states. You know what that means? It means he almost lost to a complete buffoon who said we should inject disinfectants into our bodies to cure COVID. (laughs) This is so maddening. It is. Biden won by the Uh. skin of his teeth to that ignoramus, and that was when uh, he was 10 to 15 points higher in approval. Let that sink in. He was at least 10 points higher, and he barely won last time. Spare me the useless talking point of how he won by 7 million votes. That's true. But uh, you wanted that to matter. Maybe you should have passed the Freedom to Vote Act. Wow. Jeez. Mm, but President Biden barely tried. Ooh. His donors apparently didn't press him on that one. And God help the Democrats if the Republican nominee isn't Donald Trump. Then Biden has mathematically a 0% chance of winning. Not even close. Not within miles of close. Joe Biden sees the same numbers we see. 
His team puts out talking points about how this is the most important election of our lifetime, how democracy is on the line. They're right. Yet Biden sees the same devastating polling results we see and concludes his ego concludes that uh, he is more important than the election. And according to his own logic, democracy itself. I'm putting forward a petition asking Joe Biden to drop out of the race because unlike the president, I actually do believe democracy is on the line. I don't want to go into that fateful election with a hobbled candidate whose chances of winning are so low. Why would we voluntarily make that mistake? You can hate the messenger and you can think that an incumbent can win even though they're in the 30s in approval, but that isn't going to change the inevitable. Joe Biden is going to lose this election. We need a new candidate. What are people going to understand we're not a democracy? Never. That's what, what, what you that pulled out in? of it. They're that's not. That's what I pulled out of They're it. They're not. Yep. That's what that's, you pulled out of it. That's part of what I pulled yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, it drives me out of my mind. I know it does. It d- no, out it does. of my mind. Drives them crazy, too. I'm, I'm with Adults you. Adults should understand that. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I got it. But the other <laughs> thing is... Uh, I think I, I think Biden's their best chance, even though he's so compromised. I, I if if uh, Gavin Newsom gets into this race, I think he loses by even more than Biden would, because you've got California as an example. I mean, California is a talk about a dumpster fire. That's the very definition of a dumpster fire. Show the city, show Los Angeles and San Francisco, and what those cities have become under this guy. Uh, so I, I think a Republican you- crushes. Gavin Newsom. What do you say about Michelle Obama? Oh, that's uh, that's the one problem spot where if she decides to run, she wins. That's my fear. And she's maybe worse than Joe Biden. Oh, Not even maybe. Yes. She oh, no, is, she is. Except for yeah, the yeah. fact that I think she has her faculties. But those faculties are frightening because she hates America. Yeah, and the, the the she's a Marxist. Yeah, oh yeah. She's definitely For sure. she's much more hardcore than her than her husband. Yes. She's she's Hillary she's a nightmare. Clinton on steroids. Mm-hmm. So Yeah, I'm very much hopeful that she still isn't interested in running for office. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm with you on that hope. Yeah. I hope we can dream.